Hi, I'm Shadi Husha and I'm a research fellow at this RMIT University based on a School of Engineering and on the Manufacturing Materials and Mechatronics Discipline. Uh, my expertise and background is about medical textiles uh, and materials engineering uh, and polymer composites. Um, I've been working in, in on biomaterials and fibrous um, materials uh, for soft tissue and soft bone materials in plants inside and around the body. Um, and also using the high performance materials for protection, for example, for firefighters or for army application. Uh, and also uh, I'm, I've been working on uh, polymer and drug deliveries uh, for um, using those ones inside the body. My work is related to this network because uh, I'm working on smart textiles and medical textiles. And uh, it's really important that you can be able to replace the, um, you know, the wire with the really conductive threads. And you can reduce the weight of the closing while you're using all of you know, electricity inside you know, the closing. For example, one of the application can be for firefighter clothing. You can monitor the place or location of the firefighters during the battlefield, which is really important because you can help them to you know, get out of that battlefield if they're stuck somewhere or if they, if they don't know where the you know, danger is coming from. And also, it's really important to know the health. You know, sometimes they don't really understand the in the health situation, for example, but it has stress or something. But if you warn them, they can come out and can reduce the risk of you know, exposure, too much exposure. Um, the other project that I work on that one, for example, is that you know the pressure. Um, the pressure is so important for the because you know the high risk patient and also uh, the patient with the bit bedridden patient, the patient who is most of the times on the bed or sitting somewhere, you have to move them around to make sure there is no wound happening or you no know, bed sore you know, or you know the pressure point happening. Otherwise it's gonna be a problem, you know, to fix them back to the normal uh, as they're sleeping or you know they are on a bed most of the time and an infection happens and a complication happens after that one. Also it's really important to monitor the implants as well because when you put something inside the body it's really hard to know what's happened if there is an infection happen, if there is any rejection happen if it moves around for example sometimes the hemiomish can move around or you know the other implants they put it they can move around they can if they know that it's moving they can you know just do it really quickly or for the hip implant if the infection happened they can treat it so quickly It's really hard to choose one project to say that is exciting project that I work on it uh, but I can say that one of the really Exciting project that I'm working at the moment is bioconductive scaffold um, that we published a paper on that one and it was really interesting and I'm still continuing on that one is that uh, making the bioconductive scaffold uh, to be able to add the biological factors and also conductive materials onto that one. Then you'll be able to um, regenerate the nerves uh, after the nerve injury because if there is any trauma happen uh, and uh, the nerve cuts or you know any injury to nerve happens at the two ends of the nerves are separated from each other it's hard that you put them together because you don't can you can't really put a lot of pressure on that one to stitch them together at some point if the gap is too big and um, you have to use different you have to use different treatment for that one and at the moment there is no you know really really you know exciting treatment for that one there's different type of you know uh, treatment but I think there is a need that uh, developing you know the scaffold that helps that you know, uh, using your own electrical signals uh, to send you know those um, electrical signals through that scaffold to help that the nerve regenerate because the nervous system has the electrical signals and that's why they communicate to each other and also if you use a uh, biological uh, you know uh, materials like a new transmitters it helps to you know to grow the nerve faster and also it ha it helps to recover all of the sensorial function of that one. Um, this, um, you know, um, bioconductive um, scaffold um, can be connected to the wireless electrical simulator as well. And by sending the electrical signals, you can you know, accelerate all of the you know, healing and you know, wound regen and nerve regeneration as well. This can be used also for the wound healing as well. You know, a lot of people with you know, diabetic people, people with immune system problem, um, it's really hard for them when they have wounds and they, you know, their recovery is really hard and sometimes it ends up with them as well. 
That's what, if you use those electrical signals, it, ha it, it has been proven that the electrical signals helps, but if you can use something that is ease of, you know, easy to use and patient can use it as well, and it helps, you know, um, regenerating your you know, cells and, you know, helping promoting, you know, wound healing and everything, it can be really, you know, have advantage. And also you can, using that one as electric medicine and stop using some of the, you know, oral pills um, at some point, you know, it's just, possible, but it's just a long way to go. It's been a dream project for me to work on electric medicine. It means that uh, replacing some of the chemicals and also pills with the electrical signals by sending the electricals, external electrical signals to your body, uh, you would be able to cure some of the diseases or promoting some of the you know, wound healing as well. Um, that's that's really important. Um, I'm working on a nerve conduit, as I said, and it can be it can has that application for electric medicine. If we develop a wireless electrical simulator, then we can connect those one to the bioconductive scaffold, and then by sending the electrical signals, we'll be able to um, help uh, you know promote you know a nerve regeneration, helps uh, to promote wound healing, and also sometimes you can uh, prevent the autoimmune system to respond to some of the you know chemicals that go body is uh, producing that's uh, going to be my dream project and i'm working on that one so hard and also the other one maybe it's the second you know dream project is that uh, knowing the location and different parameters of the soft implant inside the body for example is when you have a soft tissue inside the body like in you know, a hernia mesh or suture or something you want to know where's the location exactly what if it has it been infected or is there why is the rejection happened for example for the hip you know, implant if you know the infection happened and if we treat it earlier, you did the body did, you know don't doesn't reject it. That's really important, you know, to know what's going on when you implant, you know, something inside your body and you act quicker than you know um, before anything's happened. And this is really, you know, a really uh, promising area for you know implant and the soft tissue that you use and also hard tissue that you use inside the body.